Bye, Devonair. Um, I was actually on my morning run and I was not planning on doing a video. Uh, but as I'm trying to change my route every morning um, to kind of get a different experience, I came to Kond, which is one of the oldest neighborhoods in Yerevan. So I thought, why not? Let's do it. Okay, let's just get past my hair and what I look like um, and start enjoying the beauty of these, this neighborhood. Um, so there is an amazing article actually on, I'm just going to keep it a little bit quiet because I feel like people are still sleeping. Um, there's an amazing article on EVN Report, which I will post the link to it in the description um, so you guys can get the more accurate um, information because I'm not going to... Be the best at explaining it but basically it is one of the oldest neighborhoods in Yerevan it's located by Proshan and Sarian um, and you're probably seeing some artwork behind me right now I'll flip my camera but um, an artist actually to try to revive the neighborhood brought a spray spray paint and actually started spray painting murals on the walls um, to kind of make it an attraction um, his name is Serek Nav Navasartian he has an amazing link actually, uh, sorry, an amazing video as well. I'll post a link to it where he explains kind of the thought process behind it and um, shows you a little bit behind the scenes of the process. Um, so for now, I will stroll around and show you what the narrow streets and the stones and just the buildings, it just feels like it's a city within a city, which is not my own words. I stole it from the EVN report, um, but it's cool because sometimes you just kind of see these neighborhoods and um, you go to the touristic locations, but it's also important for us to take the time to learn about all of the neighborhoods and everything that makes our city, our city, our country, our country, and really like pay attention to the little details. So here you go. I will flip my camera sh right now if I figure out how to do that. So I didn't want to talk over the church bells, but um, so one more thing to note is that initially when the artist started doing the spray painting, um, the locals in the neighborhood were opposed to it. So they were painting over it. Um, and then when the artist actually came back and explained to them the idea, uh, many more artists came by and it just kind of turned into the gallery. So right now you can find uh, people referring to this area as the Con Gallery, even on the floor. <laughs> and I think on Instagram you'll see a lot of people hashtagging Con Gallery, so you'll see the artists come in and each one of them does their own work. So you'll see different styles with their signatures at the bottom. So I'll try to go this way a little bit. There are people there, so I'll try not to bother them.
even though I'm doing the video also it's um, very different to be here and ha get the feel of being here um, so definitely encourage you please to visit So that's it for today's video. I'm on Procyon right now. I'm just gonna run my way back. Before I go, um, a quick fun fact I forgot to mention is that there's, I don't know if you remember, but there's a music video that was filmed in this neighborhood by Ciro Show. Um, I think the name of the song was Zoma. Uh, so check that out. So you, it might look familiar to you now. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you so much again for joining. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'm doing all the awkward things now to, um, if you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe thingy. Maybe I'll stop saying this. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to stop saying it, but thank you so much. You guys have been amazing, very supportive. Many of you are also sending me suggestions. That's also awesome. Now you get to see uh, the church behind me here. I don't know how to, like here. Uh, the sunlight is a little bit wonky. Thank you again, Bacignar. Love you all. See you on the next video.